there are two parameters there are two parameters asha ne sidhu ne record kare na ekda ek record kara sa mai all right okay me alu ka kon ga ne then now no in a concrete there are two parameters that will not change you have to understand that weight density is generally something like 2450 kg per meter cubed and once it hardens you know you get a density of about 2300 kg per meter cubed because you know all the water evaporates and you know finally you get a density of 2300 the parameter that is constant is water content and whatever the mix if you are not using admixtures you need 200 kg per meter cube so these two are parameters you cannot change and you might get sometimes sometimes 2430 2450 you might get 2470 but that is not a major problem because we are using the average value. So there can be slight changes, but not major changes. Okay, and water content might change from 190 to 195 to about 200. Sometimes it can go up to about 205 also. Right. So there are two parameters, and then if you look at concrete, we have cement, fine, coarse, and water, and we have something called wet concrete as a result so if you get uh, 30 mega pascal concrete simple we say 30 multiplied by 10 plus 50 is the cement requirement and that is 350 and what is 200 and the answer is 2450 and then we have another parameter cos weight Divided by fine weight is 1.4, and it can go up to about 1.9. But we generally we don't go below 1.5 either. So now I'm going to use uh, the ratio as 1.5 initially. So I'm going to do some calculations, and I'm going to show you using this value. So now let's say we want uh, 30 megapascal concrete. So what we want is 350 cement, and we have 200. It costs 2,450, and we say x plus y is these two plus plus. So x plus y is 2,450 minus 350 minus 200 is equal to 1,900, and and we we also know. Y divided by x is 1.5. So what we do is we plus x plus 1.5 times x is 1,900, which means x is equal to 1,900 divided by 2.5. 2.5, and we get 760. And y is what multiplied by 1.5, you get 1140. So if you are doing weight batching, now you have a mix. Right, the mix is cement one, cement three fifty, fine is seven uh, sixty, coarse one one forty, water two hundred. So this is a mix of one is two. That's three fifty. Two point one seven is two. One one forty divided by three fifty. You get a. Uh, you get three point two five. Got it. And what is the mean ratio? Is two hundred divided by three fifty. Point five. Got it, Ashan. Sir, very clear. 
directly in the cloud. Now we are doing 25 megapascal. That is what we want anyway at our site. So what we do is we have cement. Okay, same equation, 25 multiplied by 10 plus 50, 300. And then uh, we want uh, fine. There are no cost x y and water 200 so we get 2450 on this side so uh, x plus y is now um, 1950 and x 2.5 times x is 1950 so x is 2.5, 780, y is 1.5, 117. Okay, so we have this mix. Got it? Ashan? Yes, yes. Right. Now at our site, we have two mixes. One at our site. At 28 days, we want 25 megapascal, we target 30 megapascal because we want, if you, if you have anything more than 25, we are happy. And at 180 to 365 days, we want 40 megapascal. And this is for durability. Sorry, 37 megapascal. 37 megapascal, this is durability. So that we need only 15 millimeter power in our steps. In our precast steps, we need only 15 millimeter cover because we are going for 37 megapascal. Here, this is the same because we are designed for 25 megapascal. Our designs are based on 25 megapascal. Tarushi designed our structures. The whole step is designed for 25 megapascal. But doesn't mean we are going to use the 25 megapascal. Everything will be, our target is 40, the 37, but uh, you know, if, if we get 25 megapascal, we can remove the shutters, remove the props. We can remove the props and we get 25 megapascal because it has been designed for 25 megapascal, but our mix is not 25 megapascal. It's a 37 megapascal mix, but not in 28 days, but a later day. So now we have cement, sand, uh, coarse, water and now we are going to do something special so we want uh, we want 300 780 1170 and 200 now i'm going to use a admixture i'm going to use an admixture and the reason is this page number one this page number two this page number three why because, you know, I want to get, uh, make sure that, you know, we, we are assured of 40 megapascal with, uh, with the minimum content of cement. So what I do is I'll use, and I want, now if I consider the cement composition these days, in cement we get C2S, C3S, C2A, C3A, C4 aluminum ferrites. So these are the four main ingredients. This will be, this will start operation at 14, 14 days. This will be valid for this will be operated from one day to 14 days. This will be from one hour to 24 hours. This has no reaction, no state. So because you know we we prefer about 8% of this, and then I'll say you. 50 years ago, now, the compositions have changed drastically. And 50 years ago, C3S, 50%. C2S, 25%. Today, it is 65 to 70%. This is 10 to 5%. And today the strength curve is goes like this, goes. 
25 years ago, stem curve went like this. It went, went on like this. Because it had a lot of C3S, so the strain curve just never stopped. It continued to gain, whereas today it goes like this. But we like this type of curve. So the trick we do is, for today's cement, we add fly ash. And we also add addictions. Reduce the water. So this is a trick we do today. So what we do is we read we add 15% fly ash. And the moment you do that, 300 multiplied by 0.15 is 45 kilograms of fly ash. And we add, we keep the total content is 300. We keep 25 kilograms of fly ash and 255 kilograms of cement. So when you buy uh, in sea and uh, the Tokyo Super both have this uh, this kind of 15% fly ash cement, or they have sometimes 25% fly ash cement also, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. But what we do is we use a water reducing admixture and we reduce this to 160. And the moment you reduce this to 160, you have to increase these two. So I'll put, uh, I have to reduce 40 kilos. So I'll put 15 kilos for this, 25 kilos for this. <laughs> so with that, I'll get a new mix, 255 cement, 45 fly ash, uh, 795 fine, force 1195, and water 160. And because the water is so low, now we get a higher strength. And it will continue, although these are 25 megapascal mix, you are assured of 30 because you are using less water. Now, then we do another trick. Now, here we have a ratio of 1.5 approximately. And uh, if you think you are not pumping, you can further improve this. What you do is, 45, we, we go for something, uh, now the total of this is uh, 795 plus 1195, the total of aggregate is 1190. What I do is I'll go for one is to seven ratio. So I divide this by 2.7. So when I go for one to seven ratio, I'll get less sand, because sand is very expensive and I get Minus seven point three five. I get one two five five. I get more aggregate because aggregates are cheaper. Sand is more expensive. So aggregate also I go for a mix. I say twenty five. Uh, I I say about uh, five percent quarry dust. Say ten percent quarry dust. Uh, Sorry, the sand will be 10% uh, corn dust. So sand, I will lose 10 to 15% corn dust, 10% of 15% corn dust with sand. And then what I do is, uh, I, it will not come to this coarse aggregate. The, you know, I'll lose 15% corn dust in the sand. And then I'll lose uh, about 25% uh, chips. Because we are doing this uh, small thin, thin members, we I use uh, 12 millimeter aggregates, 75%. 25%, 75%, or it can be even 33%, uh, 67%. So these are the parameters that we have to actually mix and see which is better. So now I'm going to get a new mix by where I have modified the parameters, and that is cement, fine, Coarse and water. Cement also C and F fly ash. And I can go for something like 255, 45, or I can go for 225, 75 as well, going up to about 75%. And then fine aggregate, I'll get 
10% corridor, so I get about 75. Uh, I get 10% corridor, so 75 kilograms of cori, cori dust, and then 7, uh, 735 minus uh, 75, 660. Out of that 660, I'll use 360 manufactured sand, MS, and I'll use 300 sand. Uh, because all these will bring the cost down because you know 360 manufactured sand is cheaper and corridor is also cheaper. But this is because fine mix, very fantastic mix. And then out of this, I'll use uh, say 25% uh, uh, 1255 divided by 4 is, I'll use about 315 kilograms of. Uh, uh, six millimeter chips and one two five five minus one two five five minus so this is the mix one two five five minus uh, three hundred fifteen. I'll use nine hundred forty kilograms of twelve millimeter and water will remain one hundred sixty kilograms per meter. So this is your final mix and when you do use this mix long term if you look at the stress strength gaining curve <coughs> now we have improved the strength of the strength of the mortar mix so you get a higher strength so if you if you use normal mix it will go like this 25 or it might achieve about 30 megapascal but it will go flat now we are using a special mix it is going slowly, slower than that, but continue to rise. And one day it might hit even 50 megapascal. Because this will continue to rise because we are putting about, say, 15 to, you can, you can go even up to 25. But our target is at 28 days, uh, 28 days, 25. And say after about 180 days, we might get 50. But we our target is again 37. Our target is 37. So after about one year, 181 year, I mean you might get 50 because we are using very low uh, water content, but we are having a super uh, efficient super um, mix, which can be uh, which can be uh, you know compacted very easily. So even with the mason's cover, you know, shovel, you can compact it and get the correct strength. You, you can compact it so well, and it's a it's very low water content, so it cannot have much air bubbles, and uh, we get good quality, high strength concrete, and uh, we have the other advantage, because we are precasting, we can cure them for more than two weeks. We can cure them for more than two weeks and you cannot do that in a normal site. Normal site, you know, three, four days after that, you know, difficult to cure. But here, because we are doing it, we keep it all moist, covered with uh, the, uh, the polythene sheets, moist, and we create a super environment for hydration. So we are assured of very high strength uh, though we do not compact very much because there will be huge amount of uh, reaction because we are using 225 cement and we are using uh, 45 uh, so 255 cement and 45 fly ash or 225 cement and 75 fly ash both will work but we will uh, we'll develop uh, strength curves for these and when to develop this kind of strength curve we have to cast three cubes for three days, sorry, we cast one day, three day, seven day, 14 day, 21 day, 28 day, uh, so 50, 50, uh, I'll go with 30 now then months. So one month, two months, after this month, three months, four months, Five months, six months, uh, then after that eight months, ten months, twelve months, then after that about 
15 months and 18 months uh, 21 months 24 months you can generate you know all this so multiplied by three means one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen three nineteen into three so we cast sixty cubes we cast sixty or about seventy cubes to do cast seventy cubes actually you don't have that kind of uh, facility so you have to go to the laboratory of mr Ravi Misak of Millennium Technologies. And we, with this help, we we'll do this because we'll use this admixture. Sometimes, you know, we might use even stronger admixture where you can go up to about 150 kilograms per meter cube or 145 kilograms per meter cube. Lower the water content higher the strength, but we had to look at the cost of that mixture. With that, we come to a compromising solution. We had to look at the dosage and the cost of that mixture. It's a very important parameter. And once we do that, we are through and we'll have a super mix. And that, that can be used for all kinds of site operations. And we'll any any large quantity of concrete will we'll rely on ready mix and we'll give the same mix to the ready mix supply as well. So we'll we'll get because Ravi has a lot of influence on with influence on the ready mix suppliers. So we'll use the same mix because you are not going to do a lot of pumping. And when you are using pumping, we use 1.5 ratio. Whereas when you are doing just uh, side mixing, we can go up to about 1.7 ratio. Ashan, is it clear? Yes, sir. But what's the 1.7 ratio? No, no, the pine to cost goes to five ah, ratio. Ah, right, 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 right. Because you can, you can, because sand is very expensive, so you reduce yes, yes. sand, please aggregate, then, then, then your mortar mix will be uh, harder. You know, one is to, uh, you have a one is to two mix, one is to one, 1 1.5 mix, which is stronger. One is to 1.5 mix is stronger than one is to two mix. So what you do is you reduce the sand content and make a stronger paste, and then the paste will give you higher strength. What the point? Yes, yes. So basically, by reducing the trick is reduce the sand, increase the aggregates. But sometimes you can't do this all the time because you know sometimes when you have too much aggregates, uh, the friction is more. So when you are doing pumping, you find it little difficult to pump. But when there is fry ash, pumping is simple because fry ash has ball bearing effect. So what you have to do is you have to download MTR dicing a DEF paper. Type MTR Jaising a DEF on internet, Google. You can download that paper, read that paper fully, and then you can understand how to make mixers better. Because you have this understanding, you read that paper, you can become a master of concrete technology in one hour. Got it? Yes, I got it. Any question? We have, what's his boy's name? We, we, we look up. Venuka? Uh, Ishan, no, sir. Huh? Venuka, are you there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I'm you there. understand, Venuka? It's good, huh? Yeah, yeah. You can uh, understand. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then uh, Mohammed uh, Ikram. Uh, Ahmed? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Understood? Very good? Yes, sir. Yes. Did you, ever know, did you know that concrete is so, so simple? <laughs> no, sir. So what it was a great is, lesson, sir. Yeah, what you do is that's how I teach at Morotu. Right? <laughs> so so you have to understand that you know Morotu guys are getting a super treatment. Right? Okay, so what we do is now what we do is we we create we create all these mixers, different different thick sizes. Then for each size, we make a small box. So one box of this is 225. Equal to 25 ratio. Then another box, small box. And then for this, another box. Because we cannot be doing way backing at the side. So what we do is, this way backing, we convert it to, uh, we, we get the weight properly, then fill it to a box, and we'll uh, find what is the dimension we need to in the box, and we make the boxes accordingly. 
So we have a number of boxes. So when we are measuring cement, we have one box. When we are measuring uh, fly ash, we have another box. When we are measuring uh, uh, 75 kilograms of corridors, we have one box. When we are measuring um, manufactured sand, we have another box. Uh, for, for these boxes, we paint in different colors, right? So, so nobody can get it wrong. 360, 300 kilograms of sand, another box. We are not putting the, all this, but you know, we have to uh, just can find a small size of a box that will fill up uh, one batch of uh, one batch according to the capacity of our mixer, right? So water also, we will get a cup <clears throat> or a bucket mark with the proper one. Then what we do is we fill up the uh, can, <coughs> sorry, we fill up a barrel and to a certain mark and then we add the specified amount of admixture. So when you are mixing, automatically we are mixing a water that is full of admixture. The moment we put that water, the water, the, the concrete will become super, uh, super plastic. So basically it, it is cohesive mix, but it is a pumpable mix. And we can easily compact, so you know, compactable mix. And because we are keeping all these, uh, you know, we make very nice looking uh, more components, precast components, and then we stack everything under what? Under, uh, you know, we stack it because we first had to number it. So the next day we remove it, number it, then stack it in such a way that we can take them out and without thinking we can place it at the correct position because they are numbered. So these like, you know, these are all based on Toyota manufacturing, lean manufacture principles. And there, you know, we are dealing with data rather than, you know, site work means a lot of data and data is managed in such a way the site operations become very simple and efficient. And then once you do all these things, I have sent the method statement with photos and then what you do is you have, a, once you have everything, you have a concrete slab that on which you can walk. So when you are doing the real concreting operation of 45 millimeter next stage, you'll find you are just walking on a concrete slab and we are adding concrete onto this concrete slab after placing some continuity reinforcement, mainly consisting of six millimeter mild steel box. And once you do all that, and few places you get eight millimeter box as well. Then you will get, because every whole system is on micro, you know, acro jacks, you'll find that, you know, it's perfectly level, fantastic surface. You do 45 millimeters of concrete without in a hurry by using properly, we do it cool. Then as it hardens, we lay, uh, we add cement uh, dust and uh, use travel, using the travel, make it a nice uh, level surface. And then as it hardens to the level that, you know, uh, to a certain extent, we'll use the uh, equal broom or either and then just make it rough. And then we'll allow it to harden. And as it hardens, what we do is we'll uh, lay a 12 millimeter thick or terrasomics layer. And then or only at the locations where that we need, because there will be certain locations where tides are coming. And those locations, we don't do any terrasso work. And any place where we are getting uh, what we call uh, vinyl, vinyl carpet finish. We do nine millimeters of terrasse uh, mix in a, in a very calm way. We work throughout the day. We work during the night. And basically, we start in the night and we work the whole night. And by around nine or ten the following morning, everything is finished. And then we, uh, you know, keep it all covered as much as possible. Uh, you know, we, we lay a polythene sheet on top of terrasso immediately, so that even if it rains, nothing will get damaged. And because we have polythene layer, the shrinkage uh, the tendency is also very low. And after that, the next day, we remove the polythene and make it wet. And then we use a, a cutter, a grinder, and we cut a groove 
and we create two feet, uh, 600 millimeter by 600 millimeter squares. And then after cleaning everything, what we do is out of dust, what we do is as it hardens more, we fill, 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 fill all the voids with all these uh, cut marks with, uh, you know, black color tiles out. And how we make black color tiles out is we add the black powder and make it black color tiles out. So you get a nice uh, black color groove and every uh, 600 by 600 squares and that will assure that the terrace will never crack. And then what we do is we'll, uh, you know, after about two weeks when everything is hardened, everything is perfect. Uh, once our cubes show that, you know, cubes that we have passed show that, you know, the, all the concrete has now reached uh, 25 megapascal. What we do is we remove the shutters. We should remove the, not the shutters, we remove the pumps. And then whatever whatever loose, we'll remove those also. Then we'll get perfect, uh, perfectly level surface because these are all over design slab systems. So the deflections will be very minute. So what we do is then now we want to make a super level surface. So we'll uh, mark levels and see, you know, with the thread, we see whether there are deflections. Generally, the deflections are almost zero. So we get super flat surface. And then using the Sekperaso pattern, we cut the surface and make it perfectly level. And, and uh, we, we cut about two millimeters and make it perfectly level. And after that, what we do is uh, with this perfectly level surface, uh, you know, we cover it with polythene everywhere by putting multibond. We, we, we paste uh, polythene in such a way the polythene can never be removed easily. So then, because all our uh, construction operation beyond this point will be on this polythene. But in the meantime, we can cast our uh, beams, uh, sorry, columns, and then, you know, we can do the shutters for. So as soon as we uh, do the lay the polythene, we can uh, do the shutters for the beam. So basically within two weeks, uh, we should be able to uh, get all these things done because we are using uh, a high strength mix to get uh, 25 megapascal. So within seven days, we can get all these things. So within uh, 15 to 20 days, uh, everything will be over and we'll be casting up. So we, we expect to, we try to go for a 15 day cycle, but that will all depend on how fast the concrete gains strength. But uh, we can certainly go for a 20 day cycle. There's no restriction or there's no problem. And we'll, uh, you have to master, all of you have to master these, te these techniques. And then, then, you know, we can hit a 20 day cycle, but preferably a 15 day cycle. So two steps per month. And uh, within uh, four months, uh, the whole building will be completed. And uh, then uh, while the, the building is, com is being completed, uh, we can start partitioning work and all kinds of uh, other work and the external facade uh, construction, the windows, everything can come in a sequence. And then, you know, we, we, uh, whatever the duration given, we'll do the do the construction as fast as possible because everything is going up in price these days. Faster you do the construction, more you gain. So we'll do the construction pretty fast uh, and then make sure the you know we we complete this particular building. You know before you guys those, those who are doing training goes out of the site after four months you will see that you see a seven story or eight story you know whatever it is uh, so i did not work with too much about the roof and all that because uh, there are a few special techniques for roof and all that but uh, it's, it's a matter of actually casting a slightly thicker uh, slab with uh, eight millimeter bar reinforcement to allow ensure that the roof steps uh, will not crack under any circumstance and then what we do is we'll apply, uh, you know, we'll do this terrasso type finish and we do this, uh, we will we'll make it sloping. There are so many things you are doing a roof. The roof needs drainage. It cannot be flat. It has to be slightly, it should need a, a very slight slope, very minor slope so that water does not stagnate. 
and then we cut it with terrazzo so that you know it's super flat so no water will ever stay on it and then what we do is we cover it with uh, uh, a very special reflective paint uh, reflective waterproofing membrane reflective means it will not allow any heat inwards and no cracks in concrete so you get very nice situation at top and if we if people have a lot of access we'll just cover it with the thin layer of uh, polymer based uh, mortar but on the other hand you know if we are sure that basically i mean the access is very low this needs to work this waterproof membrane with uh, heat reflective properties are very durable so you don't have to just do it it's slightly of color or white color but it reflects a lot of heat back to the sky and it does not absorb heat so you get a very cool slab and it is very good on air conditioning system so that's what we are going to do okay can you understand ashan yes it is so basically now we have a full idea about the whole thing so i have thought about the whole thing and uh, yeah and in addition to that you know we start using uh, 75 mm lightweight panels and any place that you know they they want uh, to hang cupboards and all that we'll have steel seat panels so basically they will be hanging uh, those cupboards onto the using the steel c channel connections and when we plast everything and make sure we finish the walls to about 98 mm because we can allow 2 mm of tolerance so the maximum is uh, the maximum that the architect has allowed is 100 mm but we will finish it to about uh, 98 99 mm just 1 mm less so that you know any any problem with uh, any dimensional adjustment can be easily uh, done because we are going to use not just the normal plaster we are going to use uh, slightly polymer modified plaster not a normal plaster so it is very clean to apply and very nice to work with so uh, mr sisira will be able to get uh, the polymer based plaster for us which means you know it's not a normal cement sand plaster it's a, it's a much better quality polymer based plaster and then we can use a, a high quality uh, uh, sheet rock mix or what we call uh, uh, we might use a cement cement based putty because these walls can be uh, washed a lot so we not use normal uh, lime based putty we use cement based putty which means you know these walls will be washed up so we'll convert we will give a fantastic hospital building for this uh, very innocent mature the boy the kids and uh, that will be uh, you know showcase building and uh, what they say is you know after that you know we we'll have uh, they need a ceiling at 2.7 meters and at that height you know we we we'll have a c channel uh, based uh, framework and then uh, we'll mount uh, c channel and l l angle based uh, system with coal form steel not coal form steel with coal form steel galvanized coal form steel and what we do is we'll uh, place a cement fiber sheet mounted 58 mm dura panel 50 mm dura panels or 58 mm dura panels depending on the situation and then the the beauty is that you know you can remove every panel of four feet by four feet as you wish and it can be repair at any location and most importantly the workers can walk on the sheet workers can walk on the sea they don't have to worry about anything they can walk on the sea and uh, so it will be a fantastic system and i have done this at nigam hospital and we are going to do it again at this particular hospital got it yes sir so what is the okay. minimum what is the minimum minimum uh, minimum uh, request in doing to lift uh, those uh, precast panels and beams What is that? What is that? Minimum. What is the minimum required strength gain for precast panels and beams no, to lift? No, 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 no. These these panels are lightweight. So what we do is we make them vertical, and then ah, carry right. it like a vertical book. Ah, right, right, right. For stacking, but once you ah. stack it, you know it will be. It will, if by the time we use them, because you know our casting operation is going to will be happening every day, even the day that we are casting the casting the uh, slab, right? 
even that day we our daytime our precasting operation will go right, right, right. it will not stop right. so basically within uh, two months to one hour month we will have all the precast panels and beams uh, at our site mm. ready and then by the time we are erecting them they may be more than one month old only the initial phases will not it will be fresh but after that it will be very old panels and they are super strong all panels okay yeah yeah and even this uh, precast panel we we have a mechanical correction and also when uh, as they gain strength we use equal boom and uh, make make some uh, rough make the surface rough okay okay so any other questions like that good questions so uh, so we need to provide i fun i fun i han mohammad rusmi ah uh, yes sir uh, what do you think raihan yeah sir lecture was clear raihan free from halaw uh, you know the chilao ah guy. no sir ah uh, no no chilao guy aki uh, you are the, you are the, you are from saudi arabia ah uh, no no sir i am from malambi yes. Ah, Zaira boy. Ah, you went with me that day. Yeah, Zaira. In the car? Ah, no, no, sir. That is Salah, the boy. I am with uh -huh. Zaira. Yeah. Ah, you are you are the tall, fair guy. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Raya, Raya. Okay. And Mohammad Rusmi, Rusmi, who is that? Who is Mohammad Rusmi? Yes, sir. Sir, I'm here. Oh, you from where? Akaribatu. So, this is which part of Sri Lanka you from? I did some disturbance. Your your internet connection is not very good. Ikram Rahim Di. Ikram, yes sir. Uh, you are from Chilau. No sir, I am from Matari. Ah, you are from Matari. Right. Okay. Then uh, Mohammad Rusni, from where he is? He is from Kalpiti, sir. Huh? Kalpiti, a Puttalam. Ah, Puttalam, Puttalam guy, Puttalam guy. Yeah. Puttalam guy, right, right. Mohammad Mah Mush Musharraf. Mohammad Musharraf. Musharraf. Who, who are you, Mohammed? Who are you? From which which part of Sri Lanka? Ah, sir, East the Saudi guy, sir. Ah, Saudi guy. <laughs> Mohammed, Mohammed, Mohammed. Not Mohammed, Mohammed. Is that right? Who is Ahmed? Ahmed? Nasir, Nasir Hussein. Who is that? Mardan. Ah, this is the second Saira guy. No, no, you you at another school, Mardan. Is that right? Not a Saira. Uh, Amal International. Huh? Amal International. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, international school guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many are there? But some are missing. Who is missing? Could you understand the lecture, uh, Ahmed? Yes, sir. Understood. Now you are a master of concrete technology. But to become a master, you have to mix concrete and uh, make cubes and do all that. Okay. Okay, Mohammed. Okay, sir. Right. Okay. So basically, that is the lecture. And anything else you want to discuss? Tell me. Then. Uh, Ashan, yes, sir. Uh, can you uh, load it to a Google Drive and send me the link? Uh, link as a WhatsApp link. Okay, so okay, sure. Right, because I can share it with many others. Yeah, even my, our students, you know, I can share it again. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, sir, thank sir, you very much. Sir, then do we have to do a trial mix and uh, identify the... Yeah, 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 yeah. We, uh, I, I told uh, you we are casting about 70 cubes. Uh, with Mr. Ravi, with, with uh, both mixers, 25% fly ash and 15% fly ash. Right, and we'll right. develop two, two strength curves. Right, right, right. 
For 25 megapascal concrete in 28 days, but our target is we try to get about 30. And then it will, it will, we are assured of 37 in, after some time. Yes. Okay. But uh, that's why, you know, I like to see whether the, whether the, uh, with the aggregations, we can go for something like 150 kilograms per meter cube. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 And, and you have learned this, you know, DOE method, and you can compare what you get from my method with DOE method. And this is a method that I do like myself. Right. But I was doing a lot of uh, consultancy for mix design, and then I found that, you know, DOE method is absolutely useless, not applicable to Sri Lanka. Then I developed my own method by looking at the, the, the fundamentals. I thought, okay, let's, let's develop this method or based on reasoning rather than, you know, somebody's start. So this is all based on reasoning now. You know how I gave the reasons for changing the mix and how to make it optimum. Everything is done with logical reason. And that's the important thing. Is that right, Ashan? Yes, sir. Okay. So there are there are available market available cement which containing some amount of uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tokyo, Tokyo Super has 15%. Ah, right. And uh, Uji has a cement which is both 15% and 25%. So that's why I want to do two mixers. So in C25% one and um, and Tokyo Cement, uh, Tokyo Super, I think you had to verify, but uh, the ratio is about 15. Okay, sir. So in this case, we don't have to uh, add uh, fly ash separate, you know? No, 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 no. Fly, right. fly ash comes in. So we now, now the manufacturers, because it's a real hassle bringing fly ash to the site. So, so now because of that, uh, they directly uh, they mix it at the at their factories and give it to us in bags because that is cheaper for them as well because they take uh, they they the cost of uh, fly ash is slightly lower than cost of uh, cost of cement so by adding fly ash they are gaining they are they are making more profit and it's easy for us so we are also not losing much can you understand because fly ash is a material byproduct waste product. So yeah. it is it is cheaper in price, not very much cheaper, but slightly cheaper than cement, the than clinker. Right. So basically they grind it and then add fly ash so that you know they can make a bigger profit. But it's very convenient for us because we don't have to worry about too many materials. We can even at the site we can do super 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 quality mixers by using admixtures. Uh, not like the early days, because you know, early days uh, making a side mix of uh, 30 megapascal is, uh, is a task. Mm. Now, these days, it's not a task, it's a very simple operation. Okay, okay, right. So, the regarding the uh, reinforcement in our beams, now these are the reinforcement arrangement. Uh, uh, basically, you will have uh, these beams 200. 150. Here you'll use uh, 25 millimeters. Yeah? For the beams, you'll use 25 because beam is a very important element. And we have one link like that. And these are all six millimeter links. And uh, another link like this. And then we'll have two reinforcement like that. And we'll have eight millimeter bars here, and these will be 12 millimeter, four numbers. And these will be uh, the, the links will be arrangement will be like this. So close to the support, we'll use 75 millimeter, and for a depth of 300 uh, millimeter, we use uh, 75 millimeter, and beyond that, we use something like. Uh, 125 and at the center you can use even 150 is okay but we i prefer re remaining at 125 because there's a rule which says the shear link should have 0.75 times b so if you go for 125 spacing the, then we are automatically satisfied that uh, 100 uh, 0.75 rule so basically then what we do is uh, once we uh, we cast our panels this 45 millimeter and we have the reinforcement coming to the very edge it's very important because now the reinforcement is sitting on the edge and um, so these panels will have the shape like this 
So here, uh, 25 millimeters, here 20, and uh, then this is 400, and this is uh, something like 370, or something close to that, but that will all automatic, then I worry about it. Then there will be some reinforcement like that, that's all 8 millimeter bars. And then we will have another reinforcement placed on that. And that will be a quarter inch 6 millimeter bar going up to the very edge of it. 6 millimeter bar going up to the very edge. And then we will also have things like that going up. Uh, so at certain spacing, so this is the mechanical lock for with in-situ concrete, concrete. So we might have some links like that. And then what we do is we place uh, another eight millimeter bar and we put six millimeter bars here and lock it. And so we lock it. So everything is locked. And uh, sometimes we place some six millimeter bars just to make sure all the all these uh, all these are tied in the other direction as well. And then we place this forty-five millimeters of concrete. We finish it by spraying spreading cement dust. We, we travel it. We make a nice finish. Then we get rough, and then we land. 12 millimeters of that, and then we cut it to 600 millimeter grooves, 600 millimeter by 600. And then we fill this up with black color, high route, so that what you get is a nice line like that at these locations, night lines like that. And then, so, so basically it's like a tile flow with 600 by 600 tiles, and we got we, we ensure that our terrasso mix is a super mix with very low water cement ratio, and we cure it very well. So you get a very dense, high strength concrete at the top, and that will be you know, that will, will, will ensure that this surface can be added with, you know, finished with uh, non slippery polish. Non slippery wax. There are non slippery wax manufacturers who will ensure, will recommend non slippery wax for this surface so that uh, you know it is a very safe, to become very safe surface. But uh, any place where we need tiles, we don't apply this particular thing. So, there, what we do is we keep it with this finish, with our travel finish, and then we add tiles later. And vinyl flow, we do slightly less so that once the vinyl flow is added, we get a perfectly flat surface for this hospital, not even one millimeter thickness because we are cutting everything as we need to whatever the whatever the situation. And our slab it will be very special because it has almost zero deflection. And this is the only slab that you can assure zero percent deflection, even in a priestess concrete slab. Very difficult to assure zero zero deflection because we are having a beam slab system with very deep beams and a lot of beams at close spacing, and then slabs very small spans with a thick thick slab, relatively thick thick slab. You know, we can assure almost zero deflection. That's a very special feature of this particular advanced system. Okay, with that, uh, I will end it. So basically, look at it. Sorry, I was not showing the, this thing. Now you can see the whole sheet. And uh, you can ask any question. And basically, it's going to be a super flat system because we are using very big beams. Everything is too big for the spans that we are using too big for the spans that we are using. And because of that, this system can carry heavy loads. And if there's any need, we can even put six numbers of 12, six numbers of 12. When 
partition walls are on this so we can these are the beauty of this system is the the beams can be designed as flange beams beams can be designed as flange beams and the steps can be designed for a thickness of 90 millimeter although we cast it in two states so steps are all designed for 90 millimeter thickness so if you have anything strong anything you need so what we can do is instead of having three bars we can have four bars so anything any local effect any place where we can anticipate heavy loads we increase the reinforcement because reinforced concrete is a real superb material to to cater for a range of moments not like steel it's one of the finest materials and the other thing what you have to keep in mind is because we are targeting 37 megapascal and more the deflection of the systems will become really small higher the strength lower the deflection and higher the strength lower the long term permanent deflections so we are going for super high strength and we are using the best technology that is that is that is specific that is allowed in euro codes the best technology that is allowed in euro codes we are stretching the euro code to the limit and we are going to give a very cost effective but super strong panel with minimum formwork requirement for this particular building thus making uh, the cost affordable and even at today's prices because this contract has been negotiated in 2017 awarded in 2021 as a fixed price contract so because of that reason we are assured that sun power gets the best deal and this is the best deal that anybody can ever think of okay with that shall i uh, end the lecture ashan okay sir right so what is the okay. what is the requirement of ib side grooves in that slab panel a uh, 20 mm okay. groove what is the requirement no, that actually that that should make sure that you know when you to, when you are doing to the enhance the connectivity thing. between uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah another way to do because what you right. do is you know when i see place this we put some tile grout here with construction grout and seal it. And when ah. you are doing this concrete, ah, you know, right, all right. this will, uh, this key will also will be filled up. So okay, you get a okay. better, better finish. And this will be only 25 millimeter. And here, after doing all that, we again use tile grout and seal this also. All ah, right. So right. even if you pour water, no water will uh, flow downwards because all these all the joints are fully sealed. All right, okay. Right. So, okay. so basically, this is, a, this, is a, this is a waterproof set hmm. and because it's super high strength. At the top, what we do is we simply uh, add more eight millimeter bars and finish it. And then what we do is uh, we add uh, we put uh, this uh, very special uh, heat reflecting waterproof material that Dr. Leslie uh, Ekanayaka manufactures in Sri Lanka in his uh, large factory. Right. So he so he see he, he makes admixes, but his admixture range is not very good. So I'm trying to use Ravi's uh, range. And uh, you can contact uh, engineer Malik, uh, Malik Mendes and visit his factory tomorrow because he is overseas. But until he comes, you know, what you can do is you can uh, visit his site tomorrow. And his, uh, you can contact engineer Malik Mendes. Malik Mendes and uh, his, his number is 071. Okay. Malit, when this is not seven one, five three not six nine zero zero six nine zero zero. Or otherwise, you know, you can contact Kartikeyan. Kartikeyan. You know what is what is the, what is meant by Kartikeyan? I call him Karte. Karte Kyan is uh, not 76. Both are my sisters and Malik is doing his PhD. Karte is doing his MSc on super high strength materials. So both are my research students. So you can uh, you know talk to Karte or you can talk to Malik and 
Malit is doing uh, tall buildings with uh, super tall buildings, and how to get super tall buildings re reality, uh, make it a reality. So they are doing some cutting edge research in Sri Lanka because uh, we have the technology to go for very high quality work, and uh, we are using Eurocode. We are we are trying to go beyond Europe. So the Euro code allows the maximum cube strength of 105, but we want to use And uh, just imagine, I mean, 150 megapascal in buildings. 150? Hello. So, so can, you, can you hear me? There is, of course. There is issue with the internet connection. It is lagging. Who's, who's connection? My, my, I think my, my connection. I think I, I think my connection. No, yeah, no, my no. connection is slow because I'm having optical fiber and Wi-Fi. Ah, no, now it is okay. it, it, it doesn't give problems, but once in a while, you know, when somebody downloads, huge files. Uh, sometimes your bare connection in your office is poor, and if possible, we'll we'll change over to Mobitel 4G. Mobitel 5G is not available in Sri Lanka yet. I think. Is it? Uh, I don't know. So Mobitel fiber connection is available. 5G fiber. Yes. Because 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 we are going to use uh, we, oh yes five G is available because we were told yeah. we were promised to do five G connection by SLT yeah, yeah. SLT Mobitel uh, for our police building and they said five G we will do a special dedicated uh, fiber connection five G five G is available so they do five G but you know, we can't do it for our site but four G is also Mobitel four G is better than SLT Mobitel uh, for five G is better than all the others. Bell 5G is not up to the mark. Uh, Bell 4G, but Dialog 4G is slightly better. I think best is uh, Mobitel SLT, Mobitel SLT, uh, SLT Mobitel 4G is, I think, even better than uh, out. Out of the three, SLT Mobitel 4G is the best. Then Dialog comes and then the, then Bells. Then Bell. Okay. 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 Uh, what is the price of a router? SLT Mobitel router 4G? Do they give it free or you have to pay for it? I think we have to pay for it. To get the is it free or out? some 3000 or 4000 rupees GIT you have to pay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know I'll pay that, but we'll buy another router for SLT Mobitel uh, router for your office. So when I then it's very easy when I come if there's an emergency I can do lectures from your office. Mm -hmm. Ashan, I'll pay for it, but we'll buy a router. Okay. 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 Can you look into that? Does okay. your the last time when I did some lectures from your office, I found your OG bell connection is not up to the mark. Uh -huh. So I, so I will look into that. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Venuka? It's Venuka. Ah, okay. Yes. Then, Ashtan, can you, uh, you have the full recording, uh, can you put it to a oh, uh, Google I, 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 Drive I'll and upload, uh, send I'll the link? I'll upload it to my Google Drive and I'll send you the link. Yeah, please send the link to me. Okay. Right, okay. Thank you very much. Sir, then, then, the, then I will conclude the lecture. Any any other question, uh, Venuka? Sir, you like to ask? Uh, you are happy, basically. Sir, one question. Uh, when you are yeah. placing these uh, precast panels, okay. Yeah. So, what may be that? Uh, up to what length we have to place on that precast beam? Uh, 
No, this is 40 millimeter. So maximum is 50, minimum is 30, and preferred value is 40. Okay? Okay. Maximum is 50, minimum uh -huh. is 30, preferred value is 40. Sir, you okay? mean that the bearing length? Yeah, bearing length. All right, right. And here, here what we do is when you cast this beam, we use some cement, uh, cement dust and make it perfectly level at these two locations. Up to that ah, length. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And here make, we make it rough. Right? Here we make it rough. Here rough. Here rough. In the middle we make it rough. On the two sides make it smooth. But after make it smooth, then we use the equal broom type of thing and make it rough again. When it is hardening, we make it rough. Because what we do is we put some little bit of construct, construction grout thin layer and then only we place this, uh, place this so that there will be proper bond and no leaks. Okay? Okay. Got it? Venuka? Yes, sir. Do you clear. understand? Yes, sir. And then uh, in between two panels also, what we do is, you know, in a plastic panels, here we always add a thin layer of uh, cement and construction grout mix and then press the other panel against it. Okay? So the, basically there will be some correction between the panels. Okay? Some addition, addition. Is that clear, Venka? So what is the yes, connection, what is the connection between the main beam and the and this precast primary beam, uh, secondary beam? Ah oh, no no, we what we do is when you are doing that, that connection, basically uh, it's a very simple thing because we let's say we have a main beam like this, and here we get one beam on this side, other beam coming on that side. Yeah. So what we do is we place uh, some a mat of eight millimeter bars here on either side of the flange, right? And this is a mat of eight millimeter bars, and with some quarter inch coming this way, and this will be the continuous grain process. So basically, we have a flange beam, and on the flange beam we place a proper reinforcement to make it a cook. Although we design it as a simply supported beam, during construction we make it a make it a continuous beam by adding these reinforcements. So we add more redundancy to the system. So when you add when so when you have a continuous beam, the bending moments will be smaller. So basically you get the bending moment diagram like that. Whereas we have designed this for a bending moment diagram like that. So basically, so you can see now our system can carry huge loads much higher than any any local effects that occur can be easily taken up because our system locally has a huge strength. Overall strength will all depend on the overall strength of the main beams. But main beams also, you know, we make it slightly stronger than what we need. So basically, when you design for, for these are all designed for four kilometers per meter squared. So locally, you can go up to about eight kilometers per meter squared. But overall, you can easily have five to six kilometers per meter squared. If you are loading everywhere, is everywhere, is locally, and this is designed. So basically, what we do is we design a simple system. But when you're constructing, we add more, more reinforcement here and there and make everything continuous. Because the moment you make everything continuous, the redundancy is built into the system. Whereas simply, simply supported beams do not have too much redundancy. But the moment you make them, make them continuous, you will have plenty of uh, redundancy built into the system. So these will be super strong cap systems that uh, that give a sure written assurance. These slabs will never ever fail. These slabs will never ever fail. Okay. And and do you know who developed this system for Sri Lanka? Or your at Maratua, she is the HOD at present. And this is what she developed. 
and her PhD is to show that these low precast precast these can be designed as designed as flange peaks. This is what she, she showed in her PhD. So now we so easy because we precast the system, but we forget about precasting. We simply design it as a proper in situ cast beam slab system. So the advantage is our quality assurance scheme will be super because we are not dealing with very, you know, we are not doing concreting on reinforcement. We are doing concreting on concrete. And that is the beauty of this system. Is that clear? Yes, clear. Yes, sir, it's clear. Now we are very confident of this system. Ashan? Yes, sir, clear. Clear? How about uh, Rahim Din? Veruka? Hussein? Yes, sir. Ramsi? Ramsi? <laughs> Sorry, Rasli? Uh, Muhammad? Our South Saudi friend, Muhammad? Mumad is our South friend, is that right? Yes, sir, he's a Saudi guy. Uh, 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 yes, Saudi guy, right, okay. Right. Okay, what do you think? Have you, what do you think about the lecture, Mumad? Sir, he's, uh, he's having an issue with his mic or phone. Ah, right, right. So, uh, lastly, what do you think about the lecture? Rasli, Hussein? Clear. Do you understand everything? Uh, yes, sir. And this is, this is the type of lecture that our student at Morocco University hears on uh, when you do it in person or when you do it uh, with uh, what you call uh, Zoom. Whatever it is, you know, these are the type of lectures they hear. So you can see huge amount of material is condensed into a simple lecture. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, Veluka, I'm going to leave now. Is it okay, Veluka? Oh, yes, sir, it's okay. Right. So, Ashan, uh, can you send the songs also? Another link? Oh, okay, sir. Okay. I, send yeah, I can share it with my friends in <laughs> Australia okay. and all over the world. Right? Okay. Right, right. Okay, Ashan. Okay, Ashan. Thank you very much. Thank you.